All right, peace, y'all. It's uh, now Tuesday, October 8. I did not, unfortunately, did not get any GoPro uh, video from East Lansing. We did make the trip out there. Bray did run his cart on at the East Lansing Stadium over here on Saturday. We went out to um, East China on Saturday, East Lansing on Sunday. Um, we all had a good time, man. It was a long day on Sunday, boy. Me, Sherry, Brooklyn, and Bray, we were all just bush, tired by the time it was all over. And we were back home, man, pooped out. But uh, uh, good fun, and, and we found out even more info the last day or two. So um, I'm going to talk to you while I'm unloading the, uh, the go-kart Bray stuff. We didn't take the cart with us to Lansing, but that we didn't take the truck to Lansing either. So we did, uh, we did take Sherry's... Uh, little Ford Escape or whatever that is, and um, left this thing parked up against the garage door here uh, while we were gone on Sunday. So just off offloading here, just a little update video offloading here, and uh, Bray suffered a little, little post-parking lot crash, uh, uh, syndrome, like P PTSD from, uh, from bouncing off that curb. He didn't have any confidence, man, you know, so, um, now that we know the, the governor's off, we got in a parking lot big enough for him to hold it down at that place where he bounced off the curb. Wasn't a very big parking lot, and we just kind of did the best we could, you know. Um, so he did some speed runs. I'm going to show you. I did take video. Over, over to East China, so I'm, I'm going to post up a couple of those. <clears throat> uh, one of me talking, explaining everything. Uh, two will be the my uh, view, standing or watching him do the speed runs, and then he has an onboard where he goes around the track for a while, and then we do some speed runs and call it a day. So you can see the, the, the physical speed from my standing, being a bystander, and hear in the engine, and then you'll be able to hear the engine and see what Bray saw for speed. Um, probably with the gearing on it, we, and we didn't notice at first, the clutch has 12 teeth. It's a max torque clutch. 12 teeth. We're at 1256, I believe. And uh, talking to uh, some parents out there at East Lansing, I got uh, a note back last night. 18, 1868. I think is what they run. So when we first put this cart together for Bray, we bought a 12-tooth clutch and a 68-tooth rear gear. And that's what, remember, their heads, their, both of them, their heads were snapping back. That's why, I mean, even now at 1256, it still spins the tires when he takes off. Um, and I think myself talking to Bob Kurkowski, we're tied up in this, this, uh, education or history of being two stroke guys you'd think sprint track eight teeth nine teeth twelve teeth would probably be the high end be a long sprint track for a two stroke but not for a four stroke we know the briggs animal on the, on the big track was running 23 28 teeth 26 teeth the 206 on a big track probably runs 23 24 25 26 teeth so 12 teeth was, we, we just took a shot in the dark for a parking lot, and uh, it, it isn't going to work um, if we take them up to Lansing with this package, what they told us we could. We could come up, not race, but we can go up and turn laps on, on a practice, and he might be out there with some kids with 206s or something, you know, who knows. But uh, we also, thanks to my, my buddies uh, John Brasher and Al Brasher, hey boys, they called, uh, my, my Monroe, Michigan boys, they called yesterday, Telling me about uh, going to Fremont, the Fremont track, uh, Fremont Raceway Park in Fremont, Ohio. Uh, they get down there. They're from Monroe, which is down by the border of Michigan and Ohio. So they'll buzz over to Fremont with a with a uh, a tag cart that's geared and set up for sprint racing. And of course, they both have their own long track shifter carts, uh, uh, CIK shifter carts that are already set up for big track gearing and all that. So they'll take the the tag cart over. And for 20 bucks, they'll tag team that thing all day long at Fremont. And it's almost like Nelson Ledges pre the new owners. When I used to go to Nelson, they'd hand me the keys to the place. I'd get there 5, 6 in the evening. They're leaving. They'd leave me the keys. 
let myself in, lock the gate. They'd give me a radio and tell me to turn it on at 8 or 9 in the morning, and then they'll just to let them know via radio, hey, I'm going out on a track in the morning the next day. And for 150 bucks, I had to track to myself the whole day, right, with the keys to the palace. So uh, back then, Nelson, <laughs> I mean, it was a good test track, but you certainly didn't want to go over there and do any racing, and nobody was doing any kart racing over there. But uh, Fremont, kind of the same way. The old guy that owns the joint will come over on Wednesday and collect his $20 fee from everybody, make the sign, print and sign on a waiver, and then he bails out. He don't even stick around. So uh, uh, they told me, listen, you know, check it. Maybe, maybe Fremont could be something you could bring the little guy to. And I asked the Brashers, how long does it take you to get to Fremont? And they said about an hour. Well, I know Monroe from going down meeting Patrick to do the pick up Johnny's body work and get the paint, the paint work done on that project cart. From, from Roseville, it was about 35 minutes, 40 minutes maybe at the most. So from out here, once I get to 94, it might be an hour. So maybe two hours. And it's two hours over to Lansing. So you see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter which track we take the little guy to. It's still going to be about the same amount of time. See, Fremont, heading down to Michigan, there's always some construction. You know, uh, may, maybe we'll say two and a half hours. The extra half hour to go to Fremont, I think at this point for the little guy, for his benefit, would probably be better because on a Wednesday, he'll be in school. But on a, a Saturday, they do it Wednesday and Saturday, just like out at Lansing, um, there won't be anybody there. there uh, the guys tell me on, on even on Saturday, there, there could be half a dozen go-karts there and maybe a, a couple of those mini moto bikes, right? The little, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, yeah, mini moto. Um, sometimes maybe no bikes, but but I think that'd be the better way to go. So today, I ordered up a 18 tooth clutch. I have the the 68 gear. That's what we ordered when we bought the, the 12 tooth clutch. So we're probably going to need a bit longer chain unless the engine can move back a bit, which it looks like it can. Um, we'll see. We'll see what's uh, what's going on there, but. Uh, we have more chain. We can always put a little bit more chain on it. And I got to get this thing in here and get the carburetor off of it and, and find out if there's some kind of float issue or something's not together. Because every time the kid turned right, I mean, a little sweeping right is one thing, but to turn right to make a 90 degree or, or 180 degree right hand turn, the engine always would always stall and die. So we, we have to fix that. We can't take him to a racetrack that has right hand turns. Uh, or I'll have to stand out there, and every time he comes by, I'll pull start it and send him, pull start it and send him. Every that ain't gonna be no fun. So um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, after going uh, out to Lansing, he was just geeked when we got there, and he heard the sound of the the carts echoing through the trees. He couldn't even see the track yet, and he's already telling anybody who would listen to him that he's gonna be a go kart racer, and he's gonna do, he's gonna race there and stuff. So we had a good time, really good time. Walked around, met a lot of the parents. Uh, met some of the little kid drivers. Uh, some of the parents were a little snooty. Some of the kids were a little snooty. Um, but there, all in all, there were some good folks out there. Um, and, and as I mentioned, some of these, some of the folks, maybe they got snooty because I told them, I mentioned that you know, we're, I don't intend to to bring my my nephew up as a sprint cart racer. I'm just going to get him some experience. And so he he gets the the gist of being ready, getting in following instructions, knowing what the flags mean, following directions via flags in the starter, get on, get off, uh, practice, qualifying, racing, heat racing, getting and starting in different positions, what it all means. Just, fit, just understand the format of it all and get, gain the experience. And as soon as he's old enough, with the, if we're going to go 206, for him to race a full-size cart with the 206, at a big track, like ju Junior, right, Junior 206, Junior 4 cycle, whatever they call it, they have a, a road racing claim. We'll take them to the big track, man. And, uh, and and maybe by then his mom and dad will come and they'll camp for the weekend and they can do their whatever they do, uh, their extracurricular stuff, they can do it at the track at night after I'm already in bed and away from me. But um, that's where we're at. I got to offload this stuff. And uh, we, like I said, we ordered up Braze stuff. I just come out to take some measurements off the uh, project cart. Um, we're ordering two brand new spindles. Um, I'm just going to start with all new stuff. 
If we're, why, if we're buying one, we may as well get two. Um, to have, you know, Kim told me he can straighten the spindle, but I don't know that I want to, I would feel comfortable running around at 100 miles an hour on a repaired spindle. Um, a straightened spindle. I'd rather just have new ones, you know what I mean? So we'll get those here and get them installed and then we'll call Kim and we'll take the cart down to him and um, he can clamp it down, bend these things, push these down, get everything in order. And then once we get it back, I think we'll take the rest of the stuff off because there's no more welding needed on this. And uh, go ahead and, and this is powder coat. We'll uh, probably end up re just removing it or, or maybe we scuff it and use it for primer and clean it real good. And uh, we want, our, we want our, our chassis, both of them, I think we're going to go with orange. So uh, we'll, we'll see about getting it powder coated. If we can't get it powder coated close by or for a reasonable price, then we'll, we'll end up painting them. Um, we'll, if we have to, we'll, we'll, make a, we'll make a box, a plastic visqueen box back here in the winter. It'll be nice and warm. We can paint everything up in here and, uh, and get it done and be able to put these things together here over the winter. Larry's cart's going to need a little welding first, right? Remember where we left off? We were just setting up the, the nerfs and pods on that thing. And we cut off the rear two mounts on the right and left. But the two front mounts were still up on the front axle, remember, on the chassis. So we got a little bit of welding to do new stubs for our, our nerf bars uh, on that curtain. And after that, all the welding, everything's done. We can, we can do the same with it. Um, get it in a, in a position for either sandblast and powder coating. Or, or scuffing it down, using it, repriming, whatever, and, uh, and getting paint on it, orange paint on it. So that's, uh, that's your update. I'm going to put up those uh, one, two, th probably three videos uh, from Bray out in the parking lot. Not, like I said, nothing from Lansing, but, you know, I think at this point we're more looking at uh, once we get the carburetor figured out and it'll turn right and left, going, taking them down to Fremont and letting them uh, get introduced to a, uh, a track that has grass on either side and following a racetrack and getting used to it. And then, you know, being there, you can't, you know, I mean, they, they, I'm sure they'll let the little guy knowing that he's new go out on his own for a bit, but eventually, you know, you want him in some traffic with other carts. So, um, I think maybe to me personally, maybe Fremont's a little bit better place to get him, uh, some pre-education, right. And then, uh, if we want to go racing, I think there's going to be probably far more carts and more competition uh, to, that, that will teach him quicker by running around at the back. Because uh, the kids that were at the back of the pack in a two-stroke and a four-stroke junior sportsman class, um, the two-stroke kid, Bray might have been able to keep up with, with him, but I don't think so. I, I really don't think. I think even the slowest kids out there have more experience than, than a kid with no experience, and they're still going to be quicker. So... Um, big learning curve for him and me, as I said in, in, in the video I'm going to show you, um, you know, trying to tutor this kid, even though he's my nephew, <coughs> to, to and get him involved with and understand something that I was never involved. I was not a sprint racer. I never went sprint racing. So um, that's the easiest way to get him the experience, to get him onto a road racing track. But uh, we certainly don't. I don't want them, I don't want to, I don't want to pollute them with sprint racing. Um, that that's not as far as I'm concerned, that's not as his his future isn't to continue to grow up and and race in his teens and 20s and 30s and whatever at a sprint track. I want to get him out of a big track where we're gone all weekend and um, we can camp and eat and live and and experience life together. So that's it for uh, for RPM. I'm going to get this stuff out and uh and get to work i've already busted out the uh the the sprocket the 68 that we had uh some more chain and uh and we're gonna see what we got going we they'll be shipping that the parts out for that thing tomorrow hopefully they get here by the end of the week and we can get them over here after we get the carb off and turn some right left in the parking lot make sure it runs we don't want to take them all the way to fremont and although they have an oval he could run around if it were an issue. Uh, we don't want to go all the way to, to Ohio to run around in a circle. We want him to run around the little road course there. So that's it. Godspeed. God bless. Hang in there, folks. It'll get better. <laughs> it's getting better already.